Hello everybody. Welcome. Today we are going to learn how to make a multi-column t-chart. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's start with a fresh clean slate here. I'm going to go to orientation and choose landscape. Now I'm going to go to margins narrow. This way I get to use most of my page and here it is sideways. Okay, let's write the title of our work, different kinds of cats. And now I will center this text and I will add a text box. Tigers will be the title of this text box. I'll press enter a few times and write some characteristics that belong to tigers. And now I will copy and paste this text box. Here we go. And I'll just paste again and move it and paste again and move it again. And now I can move these around and rename them. So double clicking lets you highlight and then you can type the new word instead. Okay, I'll make it bold and larger. I can do the same thing for the others. I'm holding shift. Now I can do them all at once. I make them bold. Okay. Now let's remove the outline for each of these text boxes. I'm holding shift. I click each of them and I say no outline. And now they all don't have outlines. And now I want to insert lines. Here's a line. I'll insert shapes, lines again. Okay, this time I want to duplicate this line. So I'll copy it and paste it. And I'll move what I pasted and paste again. Control V lets you paste. And holding shift, I select many and work with them simultaneously. And now I find pictures online. I like this one. It comes in really large sometimes. Just click Layout Options and choose In Front of Text. Now it's large, but it moves freely, and I can resize it, and I can move it around. And now I'll just extend these lines. There. Let's add more pictures. This time I want a lion. Wow. Okay, same thing, just layout options in front of text. And now I resize and move it around. I think that looks good. More pictures. This time I want a panther. Okay, same routine. If I don't do this, I won't be able to move my picture around freely. It will push my text around. Rotate it, stretch it out, and there. I want them all to be the same size. And let's insert one more picture, and this time a leopard. And I just resize it. There. Let's change the title, and let's make a text box for the title. That way we can move it around freely. Different cats and their features. Let's enlarge the features list for all of them. There we go. And let's change the colors for contrasting features or features that are different from each other. I'll highlight them with different colors. And now we underline and remove the outline from around this text box. Enlarge the text. And let's add a border around this page. We'll make a big rectangle, no fill. And let's change the color and the thickness. There. I can move this around. I can move that around. OK, let's remove some spaces. Let's move everything around a little bit. Okay, a new text box. 
In addition to a title, you should always have a sentence describing what your observer is looking at. And a little branding sometimes. You can put your stamp or your signature on your work. And there we have it, a multi-column T-chart.